Welcome, my name is Blair. Uh, today we've got um, just a short and sweet core stabilization uh, drills. I call them skills and drills. Um, and this is stuff's kind of essential to develop core stabilization and awareness um, around, your, your, um, around your core, through your spine. Uh, so you'll definitely need a, a strap or even just a belt that you're gonna need later in the, when we get going. Um, so get one of them by your side. You can have a block as well if you need to as well. Uh, let's begin on all fours. We're going to start off with the transverse abdominis, which is the band of muscle uh, round. It's like the waistcoat round your most inner unit of your core. So we want to have our hands at shoulder width, knees at hip width, feet about hip width as well. Good, and we don't want to be rounding or arching in the back. We want to have a neutral spine. Eyes just in front of the fingertips. And then find a steadiness here. Push through the armpit slightly. Keep the eyes soft and steady. And what we're going to do, we're just going to allow the belly to drop out with the inhale. So the inhale will draw the belly out. And then you're going to exhale and draw the navel, or just below the navel, all the way in towards the spine. Hold the lower abdominals in. Keep drawing it in. Keep exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. And then you're going to inhale. The abdomen's going to naturally go out as gravity draws it back up. Okay, once it's fully out, you're going to exhale the breath again. And so keep exhaling, drawing the lowest part of the abdomen in towards the spine. Hold it in there. Keep exhaling as much as you can. Okay, now don't let the breath gush back in. Just control the inhale. Let the belly go back out. Controlling it. And again, exhale. Draw the navel of the lower part of the abdomen right up and towards the spine. Keep it right in. You can feel the pelvic floor engage as well. Keep the eyes steady. And again, belly drops back up. Keep doing that. Good. A good way of doing it is you can have a timer just in front of, between your hands. And you can do it like 10 seconds in and 10 seconds out for the breath. Making sure it's a steady breath. Good. Let's do one more. Exhale, draw the navel right in towards the spine. Keep exhaling. And then breathing in as the abdomen goes back out again. Okay. Now practice this little drill. Uh, ideally 10 times, as I said, 10 second inhale, 10 second exhale. You might need to build up to that, starting at five seconds inhale, five seconds exhale. But keep working at that and you'll really start to connect to the most inner unit and start stabilizing your, uh, your, your spine and core. Especially if you've got back pain, key this. If you feel it really challenging, it might mean you've got a little bit of intolerance in your gut, um, maybe your intolerance is to, to certain maybe dairy or gluten or something like that, and you might need to maybe look into that if you're struggling to draw that in. But uh, this is a key exercise, very foundational, but really critical. From here, let's come into the, let's get your strap and we're going to lie down onto our back. Okay, now the strap, we're going to lay the strap under, so it's flat there. And we're going to lie down on our backs. We're going to put the strap under our navel again, so right under the, the belly button. Not on the hips or the pelvis, but on the navels, directly below the navel. Okay, now your right hand is going to be on the strap here, and my left hand is going to be on the lower abdominals. Okay, so and what we're going to do, the feet are hip width apart and knees are bent on the floor. Neck neutral. And what we're going to do, we're just going to press the lower back, the lumbar spine, down into the floor. You're going to imprint it down. And you're going to try pulling the strap out. And you can't pull it out. When the lumbar spine comes up, the strap pulls. Okay, we don't want to be able to pull the strap okay, all the way through the exercise. So keep the lower back down, keep pulling on the strap. Just a gentle pull. Good, and then the left hand keeps the lower abdominals just in best they can. They might move a little bit and that's okay, but you are trying to keep them in the best you can. Now from there, just breathe and keep a little bit of tension on the strap. And begin your breath, feeling the breath. Now if you're comfortable at that, and you can do that uh, easily, then the next step would be to uh, begin to start to lift one leg off the floor. So lift the right foot just an inch off the floor, not two inches, just an inch off the floor, hover it there. 
Good, the strap still doesn't move, good. And then the other leg. Good. Now if the strap does move, you start feeling it moving, it means you've got to start there. This is your starting point. Good. Now if, that's, um, if you find that easy, good, then the next step would be to bring the knees, both feet together and knees up. Now the tendency here is to bring the knees too far over the hips and then it's easy to do the pose, okay? Ideally, you want the knees over the hips, there, to hover over the hips, and then you just lower one leg down, keep pulling, good, nice, and then switch to the other side. Yeah, now, you should do this for maybe up to three minutes, or even a minute, good. If you're feeling you're starting to lose it, if the strap's starting to move there, you can just go down there, backwards and forwards. And then from there, the next step, the next stage, is feet together, keep the lower back pressing down, and then both knees together, slowly come down. Now this is pretty challenging, it looks easy. Good, maybe you get to there, touch the floor, hover, hold, Good. keep the belly in, and then back up. You know, a lot of people start failing here, so if you start to fail here, that's okay. If you can't, if it starts to pull out, the slides, it's okay. You just work with that and you practice that. Within a week or two, even a day or two, you'll start to master this. Good. Now, if you're comfortable at that, the next set would be here. We're just extending one leg out. Good. And then the other leg. You might find one you can do easily, another one you can't. Maybe the moves. And again, you just go to wherever you can. Maybe it's just here and then back. And this is going to build the stabilization and the, and the strength. And more importantly, it's going to build awareness. Because you've actually got the strength, you just have to rewire the system again. Of course, the next one, the last one, would be both together. Now, this is really challenging, so do the best you can. Good. Press the spine down, keep the abdomen in, and keep pulling. See if I can do it. Now, I'm starting to shake. Good. Nice, I can do it. Good. Liz, and come back in. Now, you can do that. You can hold it out, or you can keep extending it out slowly and back in. You know, once you can do this comfortably, and you can do that, hold it for about a minute or even more. If you're an athlete, ideally, uh, you know, five minutes, which is pretty strong. You can do that, and then you're definitely strong and stable in, 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 your, in your rectus abdominals and, and, and your core stability. And if you get any back pain, this is an essential exercise to start with or to do. Also, if, you were, if you're a mother, you've been pregnant or if you've had a, a c-section or anything where they've opened up through the abdomen then the nervous system is uh, it's disconnected so this is critical to start to train and reconnect your lower abdominals and start to be able to find core stability which is absolutely essential uh, if not you'll end up with back pain and all sorts of pathologies within your uh, um, skeletal muscular system Nice, so from here we're going to come into just a little bit more to come into the, the obliques. <clears throat> um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take the legs up, or you can have the legs bent. It's up to you. If you're tight in the hamstrings, then bend the knees. If you're, if you're pretty open in the hamstrings, you can have the legs up. Now here we're going to bring the fingers behind the head. Good, and then we're going to lift the shoulders up off the floor. Nice, now from here we're going to bring the... Uh, left elbow onto the floor and the right arm to the outside of the left leg then we just extend the leg forward we press the arm and the knee together and the left elbow pushes us up off the floor keep the toes extended and flexed good and then we come to the other side good left arm to the outside right elbow into the the floor Lower, and we press. Now we're getting the obliques, we're getting the rectus abdominals, good, and we're getting the transverse muscles. It's a full body uh, exercise here. Good, and then we go to the other side. Good. Again, it's the elbow pushing you off the floor that's key. A breathe. Good, you can do 10 on each side if you want, or five on each side, just nice and slowly. Of course, you can do as many as you want here. And again, these, things, these exercises, with a little bit of practice, you get good at them very fast. It's not, um, it takes forever to get there. Of course, if there's any other things happening in your body, then it will, 
take maybe a bit more investigation. As I said, if you've got any intolerances in your gut, uh, especially for these spinal muscles, uh, they're very, they're connected to the same branch of the nervous system that's connected to the small intestine and your organs down there. So if there's any dysfunction in the organs, it's going to bring dysfunction into the core unit or the inner unit. So you've got to look maybe into that a little bit more or find a professional that can um, uh, give you some advice on that or, or understand that um, a little bit more. And if you're really looking to, uh, you know, trim up or find more tone around the abdomen, then these exercises, they will tone it, but the main thing is that's diet and lifestyle. So again, diet and lifestyle, so six foundations, uh, which is first one is, is, is thoughts, which is you know, meditation or organizing your mind and your life. Second one is breathing. Uh, breathing is critical, understand how to breathe naturally and control your breath, or just breathe through the diaphragm, it's key. Um, the third one is, is movement, moving your body to the right intensity each day. More often it's less that we need to do. But moving daily in an appropriate way is key. So that's the first three, and they're more yang, so more energizing. The last three is, um, is uh, hydration, so clean, healthy water to hydrate the body, it's critical. Uh, nutrition, uh, just eating a clean diet that works for you. It's different for everyone, but making sure it works for you. And then uh, sleep or rhythm, making sure you get quality sleep, uh, to rest your body. So these six foundations will absolutely bring your body back into more balance, uh, bring more health and vitality and energy to your body. That's all for today. Uh, practice them, these little skills and drills and the six uh, foundations of health. I guarantee you, your body will become much more powerful, stable, and you'll begin a powerful healing journey. Namaste, thank you very much.